questions, first of all, for the movie. I really enjoyed watching it. Thank you. Um, Thank how you. is it for you to be back on the shoes of Toro and Loki? It's fantastic. Fantastic. <laughs> it is. It's fantastic. It's great. It we, I mean, we started this journey three years ago, and, and to be here now with the film and have this kind of uh, the following and, and affection for, for the characters is, is incredible. Mm -hmm. So. Um, I've read that you originally auditioned for Thor. <laughs> you still? Yeah. You ordered me to it. Right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's a it. common one. On this <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, listen, it, it, uh, when I, I, at the time of, of, of auditioning, it was 2009, yeah. let me set the scene for you. Um, <laughs> and, um, and Kenneth Branagh, who was directing the film, and Marvel were looking for a new actor to play Thor. At the time, the, the character wasn't, wasn't very specifically written, so they knew they wanted someone tall, someone who sounded like they could be, a, you know, in a classical silhouette. So I was in with a whole bunch of people, you know, Chris's brother Liam included, and um, it was, you know, on the way into my audition, as it were. Um, there were I went in a couple of times, and uh, everybody said, Kenneth Branagh, Kevin Feige, Craig Kyle, all the, all the people who make these amazing films, they said, I think actually, there's one part that Tom should play, and that's Loki, because it's just made of him. <laughs> so, um, and then I defer to this man, who who is the God of Thunder. <laughs> <laughs> they just wanted Tom yeah. in the film. He auditioned for everybody: Jane, Darcy, <laughs> <laughs> Selvig. Yeah, yeah Selvig. Yeah, I auditioned to play Odin actually. That's what happened. Um, what makes um, Thor special? I mean, there are a lot of other superheroes out there, but what do you think is special about Thor? This movie is really funny, and um, despite you know being you know heavy on action and also a lot of drama, there's so much humor that I think it really um, makes the whole thing feel a lot more exciting. But um, given this movie, there's much more depth to both of your characters now. We are, see much more. We can look behind the faces much more. Mm -hmm. um, is this important for the for us as viewers to understand? It's interesting. Sorry, do you want to no, go? go it's yeah. interesting because um, I think. In the first film, we built up a lot of backstory, um, and it was just that we, the first film had the task of introducing the characters to an audience. So we had the same kind of connection, but it didn't. It just we couldn't explore the connection in in two hours traffic of screen time. Um, so I guess we had the freedom this time that everybody knows, especially because we had Avengers in between. Everyone knows who we are, so we were able to go deeper. Cool. And the fact that you know. We've known each other for four years and <laughs> the buddies now. That's right. <laughs> yeah. uh, can you somehow understand why Jane falls for Thor? Yeah, absolutely. I think um, there's an interesting sort of parallel, I think, in real life of how women often will deify their their boyfriend, you know, or partner and put them up on a pedestal. And um, I've certainly seen that and done that in the past, you know, and and so I think it's funny to have this guy who's like a god, you know, he actually is a god, though. <laughs> um, what's really funny for me is that um, she knows when her boyfriend arrives because there will be Sunday, <laughs> so she has kind of a pre-warning. Exactly. Is that a good thing, you think? <laughs> yeah, exactly. She always knows, you know, she can, she'll have to, like, spruce up her hair or something when she hears, she hears the thunder coming. This time you've also been into the world of Thor. The last time it's only been only been New York um, for you. How was that to be in this, you know, um, yeah, Asgard world? Yeah, well, it was great to get to go to Asgard this time because primarily for me because I got to work with all the actors who I had missed on the first film. You know, I got to say, yeah, I'm in a movie with Anthony Hopkins, but I had never met him. So to actually have scenes with Anthony Hopkins and Rene Russo and Jamie Alexander and Tom Hiddleston, of course, was a great, great luxury. Given, given the chance for a third movie, and I think there will be a third Thor movie, which storyline would you love to develop more? I don't know. I mean, if you kind of went back into the comics, the, uh, you know, the crescendo of it all was the what was sort of the end of the world, yeah. I think. You know, where Ragnarok. It's Ragnarok, called. where it all collides. And so I don't know if that's where it's heading. Um, I mean, to be honest, you know, we we're, Avengers is next and for yeah, you. You, you know, for, for, for me. You know, I'm trying to wrangle Tom. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you very much for the interview, guys. Thank you. Thank you.